Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Furlong, and today we're talking about the controlled experiment. This year in science class, you are going to be doing quite a bit of hands-on activities, many of which are going to be a controlled experiment. So we need to talk a little bit about what that is and how we would set one up. In a controlled experiment, there are different types of variables. The first one is the independent variable. That is the variable being tested. In essence, it's what we want to know about as a science problem. So look at this example. The question is, what type of material absorbs the most heat? And we have a variety of materials, metals, woods, water, etc. Since I don't know which material absorbs the heat the most, I'm going to test all these different materials. That's going to become my independent variable. My dependent variable is the variable being measured. So how do I know which one absorbs the most heat? What information am I going to use to determine that? Well, this is a pretty simple one. Of course, I'm going to use temperature. And so in this example, I will be measuring the temperature of the substance after so many hours. The last variable are the control variables. Now these are all the variables that have to remain the same. They are typically controlled by the experimenter, and that's you. So let's look at this question. What type of material absorbs the most heat? So in this example, I can take, say, a metal and measure the temperature over a period of three hours. And it went from 20 degrees Celsius to 21.7 degrees Celsius. Remember, the temperature is going to be my dependent variable. That's what I am measuring. I can then substitute the metal with a block of wood. And I can repeat this. And I get a temperature. Again, my independent variable are the different types of materials. So I could test the water, and then the black brick, and the white brick, and so on. But notice I do have some other options, like I could change to red light, or to blue light, or to green light. Now if I did that, now I'm introducing a second independent variable. And so I would not necessarily know which of these is going to absorb the heat the most if I'm constantly changing light. So I'm always going to keep white light. That's going to be a controlled variable. I can also change the angle at which the light is shining. And again, I don't want to uh, add another variable, so I'm going to control for this variable. And I'm always going to keep it the same. So notice what's happening here. I have all these variables that I'm trying to keep as the same as I can every single time I test a different substance. So every, every time I test my independent variable, I want to make sure that all my controls are the same. I'm always going to use white light. I'm always going to use the same angle. And I'm always going to, for my dependent variable, measure how that temperature increased. In the next activity, you're going to be designing some controlled experiments. So keep all these things in mind. Independent variable, dependent variable, control variables.